Hi, this is part two of our guided video series on nighttime light statistics. In the previous video, we saw how we can load the data sets needed for this project and apply the filters. Now we have uh, selected a nighttime lights image for year 2020, and we have also selected a geometry for the state California. And let's say we want to compute the sum of lights within the region that we've chosen. So to do this, we need to use this function called reduce region. Let's create a variable which will store the result of running this function. We'll take our NTL image and run this function reduce region. You can do control space in Earth Engine code editor to do autocomplete and fill the parameters. So I'm going to fill uh, control space again to fill all the parameters. And instead of giving the parameters one by one by the position, we can just give them as a dictionary. This allows us to only give the parameters that we need and also makes your code much more readable. So first we need to specify a reducer. Uh, we have many pixels in this region. What do you want to do with them? And we'll say we'll use the e-reducer sum. This will give us the sum of all the intensities of the pixels within uh, the region. If you have another data set such as temperatures, you may want to use mean. So we'll get the average value within the region. <clears throat> Geometry, we have this variable geometry that contains the geometry of California. Next, we have this variable called scale. Uh, this is the resolution of the image uh, for doing the computation. We don't yet know what is the resolution of this image. So temporarily, I'm just gonna comment out this part and let's find out what is the resolution of this image. We have this NTL image. We can get the projection of this image and there's a function called nominal scale. This will tell you what is the resolution of each pixel in this image. You can see this value is 463.83. So this is the, the size of each pixel. We can store this in a variable. So we can just say, and now we have the value for the resolution. Remember to do this uh, before you apply any computation on the image. If you do any computation and you'll check the projection in scale, you'll get something called a default projection, which will lose all the original scale value. So make sure to do this before you do any processing. Let's uncomment this part and fill the parameters. So the scale of this will be the same as resolution. We can choose to run this computation in a specific projection, but we're gonna skip that for now. If a region is very large and your pixel size is very small, uh, you may run into issue where it says, you know, you, um, the default computation only allows uh, running computation on pixels up to I think uh, 1 million or 10 million. Uh, if you have a very large region, you may want to set this number to a higher number. I usually like to set it to a very high number like 1 in 10. So I never run into this issue. Also, sometimes when you're running the statistics um, and you might get a memory error or a tile error. Uh, in that case, you can also set the tile scale to be a higher number. This will allow the computation to use more machines and it will be done in uh, uh, increase the parallelization of your computation. Let's see the result. So the result of a reduced region is always a dictionary. You get one value per band. And remember our band, our image has only one band. So you get a dictionary with one property. And this is the sum of nightlight intensities within this band called average, right? So this is the value that we are looking for. And um, since this is a dictionary, we can just say get, uh, and we can get one key. There's also a function called get number, which allows us to, uh, if you know that the value you want to get is a number, you can directly cast that to a number. So we can just say get number and the key of a dictionary is average. And this will allow us to print, uh, extract the value and print it directly. So the sum of nightlights within California for year 2020 is this, right? So this is um, the statistic that we just computed using the reduced region function. So this tells us what is the sum of nightlights for the entire state. Now, in the next video, you'll learn how to compute the statistics for different land covers. So we'll say, what is the sum of lights for urban regions? What is the sum of light for agricultural regions? That's coming up in the next video.